First things first, let's watch him swing at a number of pitches that are so far outside, they might literally hit a lefty batter. You know what he's been worth swinging at so-called shadow pitches like that since 2020? Negative 35 runs according to Baseball Savant. Yeah, that's not good. How about eye level pitches? Yeah, he can't really lay off those either. You know what number best describes these swings? I would say chase rate. You know what his chase rate has been the last three years? Over 45%. Yeah, he's chasing on almost half of his swings. Does he at least take some pitches, driving up pitch counts in the process? Well, no, not really. Not only does he have a sub 5% walk rate the last two seasons, but he's also swung at over 40% of first pitches over the same time period, including quite a few he had no chance of hitting. This means in a huge portion of his ABs, he basically is starting down a 1. That aggression truly does stay for the whole at bat, however, as we can see in our next few clips that show him swinging at multiple pitches well out of the strike zone in individual ABs. Look at some of these, man. It's like he's swinging with a blindfold on. Maybe those sunglasses he wears during a lot of his ABs are tinted a little too darkly. This all calls culminated in perhaps the worst one, a strikeout versus the A's last year that saw him chase three separate offerings he had no chance of making contact with before being thrown out at first on a drop third strike. Speaking of contact, despite these free swinging ways, he does indeed manage to hit a few of these pitches, ranging from those literally in the dirt to fastballs up by his eyes. More often than not, he's out on these plays, but it still does provide much more entertainment than witnessing one or two of his daily strikeouts on swings weaker than the division he plays in.